Hello friends, I am Dr. Vijay Prakash and today I will be talking to you about the antigenic concept. Now what do you mean by the antigenic concept? By definition, it is the art, practice and technique of creating an illusion of natural teeth in an artificial dentition and it is based on the elementary factors suggested by sex personality or age SPA factor of the patient. Now there is a relative term uh, related to the antigenic concept and that is also called as dynesthetic concept. Now what do you mean by that? It is basically dynamics as applied to the fine art of producing life effect in a denture. So that is then the anesthetic concept. In short, if you want to understand this, uh, see when we are placing natural teeth, that is a static entity. And we are placing that static entity in the dentures. And when we place these dentures in the patient's mouth, he has to function, that denture has to function as it should produce life effect. That is, uh, it should have more natural effect. In If we are able to give that natural effect, it will bring out dynamism. That is, it will give a lifelike appearance. So when we design a dentogenic restoration, we are basically enhancing the natural appearance of the individual. Now this concept of dentogenic, con uh, dentogenic concept was given by Fresh and Fresher in 1956 and uh, it helps in selecting of artificial teeth based on these three factors. So the concept was very simple which was based on the work of William Jetsch. Now William Jetsch was a Swiss sculptor and who applied sculpture in dentures and that helped in achieving uh, the effect of sex identity as well as increasing the natural appearances of these dangers. So the concept by the sculpture William Z, which he applied in sculpting that the similar concept they picked and they uh, wanted to place uh, in the complete denture fabrications and bring out the natural appearance in the individual. So. So when we arrange the teeth, um, it is based on these basic factors like sex personality and age as well as uh, the cosmetic factor and the artistic reflection. So when we apply these factors um, in the fabrication of uh, complete denture, this provide a physiologic as well as psychological comfort to the patient. And detailed consideration of the denture tooth uh, the position of the bite and the matrix, all this brings out and increases the natural appearance. First, we consider the factor of sex. Now, sex of an individual influences the arrangement of the artificial teeth. The individual contours and arrangement of the teeth are different for men and women. So, that depends what type uh, of basically uh, the overall frame and personality of that patient is. So now if we look at a male patient. Now male patient is basically having the features, heart look, muscular, vigorous appearance, cuboidal shape. So all these basically denote the masculine dentition and majority of the time it is the squinish of the arch. So for vigorous Male, it is the squarish type of arch and majority of the time for the female patient, it is the ovoid type of the arches. So if we check the incisal edges of the maxillary anterior teeth, they are parallel to the lips. The distal surface of the central incisor is usually not rotated. This is often straight as you can see in this particular picture also. And if you check the picture carefully, you find that the centrals and the lateral incisors, they are almost at the same level. And the mesial surface of the lateral incisor is posterior to the distolabial surface of the central incisor. So if you see this, this particular angle, it is slightly 
posterior to the distolabial surface of the central incisors and the cuspids are more visible so they are more prominent these cuspids are more prominent uh, as the patient smiles and also the maxillary cuspids are less visible than in the females so if we see in a female patient the maxillary cuspids by cuspids are more visible in a female patient but in a male patient the visibility is less because of the prominence of the canine so these are the some features of about the male patient now if we see the female patient in female patient what does uh, defines like roundness smoothness and softness so these are all the characteristics um, in the female patients so roundness of the arch form denotes the feminine dentition as you can see and feminine tooth forms are usually ovoid as i showed you in the figure also that usually females have ovoid shape of arches so incisal edges of the anterior teeth are more rounded as you can see the these central incisor these teeth are more rounded and the distal surface of the central incisor is usually rotated in the posterior direction so if we see the arrangement this is slightly rotated that is slightly towards the it's rotated towards the uh, distal distal direction so the lateral incisors are narrower and shorter than the central incisors and they impart quality of softness and the mesial surface of the lateral incisor is often in the anterior relation to the distal labial surface of the central incisors in a female patient so the distal surface of the cuspid is rotated posteriorly if you can see this is rotated posteriorly the visibility is less in comparison to the male and also if you see the bicuspids they are more visible if we compare this with the male patient their visibility of the bi bicuspids was less but in a female patient the visibility of the bicuspids are more the next factor is personality so if we talk about a soft delicate personality that is associated with female patients more often and whereas you have the bold and vigorous personality which is associated with males so factors which influences the personality of the patients are uh, basically how they are groomed that is the personal grooming the cleanliness occupation the physical appearance and the aggressive or regressive behavior pattern of a particular patient so if we talk about the personality spectrum we can divide these patients into three types one is delicate second one is um, delicate means like fragile or frail uh, thin looking medium uh, pleasing is moderate normal robust healthy and intelligent appearance which you see and vigorous is more of a hard aggressive muscular type uh, almost primitive and ugly so if we talk about an intelligent manipulation of the size shape and form of the teeth and the supporting structures they satisfy the objective and subjective personality so that is when we talk about arrangement of teeth on the basis of the personality we can uh, take the experience of fresh and fisher who described the patient according to the personality and they said that uh, if we talk about only vigorous males they uh, they will fall into uh, say 15% and if we talk about only the delicate or soft uh, characteristic women uh, they fall in only into 5% of the uh, total uh, survey what they did and when we talk about the medium of the average both men and women that falls into a category of 85% so majority of the time if we see that it is the medium uh, type of personality and when we are arranging a particular teeth we should always keep in mind uh, the personality of our patients and uh, of course uh, what we, as i had mentioned to you about the characteristic features we should always remember that and accordingly we should arrange the teeth and characterize like for example if we over accentuate the upper central incisors over accentuate the upper central incisors 
that will give you more of strength and boldness which is depicted in the smile and if we arrange the central and lateral incisors in the same which are of the same size which are of the central and lateral incisors which are of the same size that will give more of a uh, masculine feature and if we arrange the lateral incisors which is slightly higher up than the central incisors that will give you more of a feminine feature or uh, that will be more beneficial when we talk about uh, and we arrange the teeth in a female patient. So next important factor is the age factor. Now if we talk about the age factor it maintains a very high degree of conformity between the restorations and the patient's physiological age structures. So if we select an appropriate shade uh, for a particular patient say for example in a patient which are older uh, you should select a darker shade in comparison to a younger patient and we can depict aging by uh, refining the mold so we can give a wear pattern or attrition that can be included in the denture teeth as and how we want to depending on the age of the patient like for example, in a young uh, patients, we can give mamelon, which are present in the incisal edges. As you can see in the figure, that we can give this type of uh, features in the uh, anterior teeth. So, like in the central incisors, we have these mamelons, and if we talk about canines, they are having the pointed tip, which gives more of a uh, younger appearance when we are arranging and selecting these type of teeth in a particular type of patient. Also teeth abrade with age. So if you see the centrals and lateral incisors, they abrade in a straight line path. And when we talk about the cuspids, they abrade, abrade in the curve. So abrasion of the incisal edges of the anterior teeth actually flattens the arch. Also, if we talk about the inter-incisal distance, if the inter-incisal inter distance increases, uh, with age so basically there is more visibility of the lower the lower teeth are more visible uh, as the patient smiles and this visibility is due to uh, basically loss of muscle tonus allowing the lower lip to sag and the upper lip to drop so this all these all changes happen uh, with aging apart from this you have the wearing away of the natural teeth at the contact point which creates spaces between the teeth and sometimes you will observe uh, the patient with the existing teeth they are having this kind of uh, pattern of uh, recession you have gingival recessions you have large spaces between the teeth and you have the worn out uh, incisors and the worn out pattern of the canine regions so accordingly if the patient is having uh, few teeth so depending on the existing teeth you can always refine your uh, the, the processes which you are planning and according to the age of the patient the smile line will also be uh, you will be also making the smile line so if you talk about a younger patient you have a sharp smile line whereas uh, in an older patient the smile line is lesser less sharp and the uh, the effects of erosion in the artificial teeth they can be impaired carefully by grinding and polishing uh, of the teeth like if your adjacent tooth is having this type of uh, patterns where a lot of abrasions and erosions have taken place accordingly you can give this type of pattern in uh, the artificial dentures by grinding and then polishing that and uh, that will give the more of a natural appearance and increase the uh, lifelike appearance that, that is I, as I mentioned to you about the thin aesthetic concept that will enhance the natural appearance of the teeth. Next factor is the cosmetic factors. It involves personal grooming. Um, the dentist should always keep in mind and refine in the arrangement of artificial teeth um, the personality of the patient. Uh, how well he is groomed and dressed. Similarly, refinement should also be done uh, in uh, patients who is shabbily uh, dressed, 
who has a vigorous personality and uh, if you are giving more of a refined teeth in such type of patient it will look artificial so modification of the natural appearance helps in improving the patient's appearance apart from this you have the artistic reflection uh, artistic ability of the dentist is tested to achieve a composition of teeth that harmonizes with the surrounding features and is also acceptable to the patient so uh, whenever how the patient desires you should always keep talking it, it is uh, and communicating with the patient see what that particular patient wants and how well you can refine so that it's a win-win situation for both of you it is like you both the dentist and the patient are on the same page and you are not uh, different uh, and uh, this way the patient acceptance is much much more uh, whatever processes you are giving and uh, that also gives the physiological and psychological uh, requirement that that's the fulfillment fulfillment of these physiological and psychological requirement of a patient so these are all the factors which we should keep in mind um, in uh, the selection of teeth and um, this is all sums up about the dentogenic concept thank you for watching the video